Adam Hergen radar is just 18 years old. My lungs are like a seven, eight year old's. His family rushed him to hospital, vomiting and struggling to breathe. And a routine chest x-ray showed this severe change in his lung and he was needing a lot of extra oxygen. So there was clearly a problem with his lungs. He admits he's been vaping nicotine and THC derived from cannabis for over a year. I was devastated because I, I didn't think that that little pod could do so much damage on, on my body. In what could be a small piece of this much larger vaping illness mystery, doctors suspect some of these patients could have lipoid pneumonia, possibly linked to vitamin E oil that's reportedly being found in some cannabis vape products. When the oil is heated, it forms an aerosol and is able to travel into the lung. From that very hot initial temperature, as it cools, it can condense into the larger droplets and then stick to the walls and then coat the walls. Essentially, lining the lungs with a layer of fat, making it tough to breathe, even causing lung failure. With these new uh, findings coming out, I'm more reluctant to even say that vaping is less harmful than smoking. No similar cases of severe lung illness have been reported in Canada, but doctors are on the lookout for symptoms and say those who vape should be too. And people haven't been warned about the potential harms of doing this. So until these products are well regulated, I think that uh, we are in a dangerous situation. One that's already derailing the lives of otherwise healthy young people. He's living proof of what this does. The, the pictures of his lungs, living proof of what vaping does. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.